Hey there. I wanted to show you guys what I've been up to here in the studio. Um, I found a very inexpensive little reference. Well, I say little, it's not little. A reference book for flowers. And you, if you've followed me for very long, you know I love painting flowers. And this is, it was $15. I'll link it below. But there are just flowers arrangements, just individual flowers, all kinds of ideas. I can't hold it. All kinds of ideas in here. Look at that. And I'm going to show you what I've been doing with the sketchbook that was my favorite from our last video. So I did one painting. No, I've done three paintings based on just ideas from that flower book. And I'm gonna show you, this is a little bit wet inside, but I did this one and I don't really like this one very much, but I did that one too. And then I did these peach roses and I'm going to let you watch me as I paint these, even though I already did it. I recorded it beforehand. Now I'm showing it to you now, but then today I just did this one here. It wasn't really pulled from the book, but just the idea of flowers in general. And so I've recorded myself painting this one also. But today's video, I'm gonna take you along with me and we're gonna paint these peach roses. normally like to begin with like a wash of a bright yellow when I'm painting flowers it just gives like a glow behind the flower and with this one I'm mixing some quinacridone pink or red I made it a pink because I added some white to it and some Indian yellow to get that pretty peach color that I was really hoping to try to figure out and it took me a while but I did I did mix it up and and finally get it to what I wanted it to be and so I hope you enjoy just kind of relaxing with me and watching as I paint these flowers This is the part where I started sort of getting it all the same color. <laughs> and so I, ha I usually have to go back and forth and work on the lights and the darks. And then I put in the middle range color. But that's just part of, of working. That's part of my own process. I, I add things, I take things away, I add in some darker areas then I put in some lighter areas and that's just 
That's just the way that I work. I don't really have a set plan ahead of time as far as I don't go in and put in all of the drawing or the details. I just kind of let it happen as I go and I can go back and fix things if I need to later on. That's just, just the way my process kind of works and that's always what has worked best for me. So you can probably see now I'm going back in with my darker color. So this is kind of the flower dance. I go back and forth, light and dark, looking back at my reference and sometimes I lose the value that I needed and I can just go back in and add it. So that's the beauty of paint. You can paint over things, you can start over completely if you need to. But Finding your own way of correcting things and being able to see when you're starting to get off, that's really, really the key to getting back on track and, and making the, the best work that you can make. I've got some other tips for you if you would like to download a copy of my 24 tips for acrylic painters. It's a free 
a free guide that I have available and you can find the link down below in the description of the video if you're interested in that or you can just go over to my website it's artbyamandahilburn.com and you'll find that that freebie is listed up in the menu at the top of my website and hopefully you'll find some of those tips helpful so let's get back to painting So here you can see I went back in with some yellow up at the top because I just felt like it needed a little bit of that warm color. So learning how to balance your color temperatures, that helps me a lot with 
deciding what a background color may need to be. And now I'm going in with some darker value on my green. And I'm picking up a little bit of blue also. So um, I'm playing back and forth with, with color. Especially, I do this a lot with my background. So I'll paint something one color and then as I keep working on it, I realize that, that background color might look better if it was something totally different. And so I end up painting over it. And that's what I'm doing here with this blue because I like to see a little bit of that yellow coming through, but I want the, I just want the background to be more of a, a, a light blue with a little bit of yellow peeking through. And so layering like this with your acrylic paint is going to just give you more interest and more depth. And I really like doing this, especially around the edges of my flowers. You can still see that yellow that's going to come through. And I know it may look like I'm making a lot of extra work for myself when I change a background so many times, but what it really does is it just gives the, the painting more depth, a lot more depth. So I also like how it leaves a little bit of the, the edge of whatever the subject is. I can still see a little, for this one, I can still see a little bit of that yellow that comes through and I like, I just like the way that that looks. You may not like that in your own paintings, but that's the way that I like to do it. So I've had a lot of people ask me who have watched some of my live videos, like on, on Facebook or here on YouTube, why do you paint over the background <laughs> so many times? And sometimes it's because I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing to begin with and so I just kind of play around with ideas but sometimes I do it on purpose and it usually ends up more interesting when I go in and add a different color on top of what I initially thought was going to be my background color.
just putting in a few finishing touches even if I've got some leaves that look really abstract if you just put in a little hint of something with some shape kind of poking up out of the top or across one of the flowers it's going to give you a lot more believable greenery without having to make each leaf look exactly like a leaf but this is about it and I'm almost there but I just wanted to say thank you for watching and I hope that you've enjoyed this. I hope it was something that was relaxing and fun and inspirational and that it will make you want to get out your paint and get started painting also. See you next time.